All right, guys, welcome back. So I'm finally back home. I, I actually took a six-day vacation getaway, and I must say I feel rejuvenated. I feel alive. I feel refreshed. And I most definitely feel like playing a horror game, at least one for the meantime here for you guys on the channel. I've seen a couple of comments about this game on the channel. I've, I've, I've done some research. I've seen a couple of videos here and there. Tad bits, obviously. I've seen Daz play it. It looks really good. I just thought I'd give it a try. It's supposed to be a sort of GoPro-ish, realistic sort of first-person horror game. Essentially, you play as a vlogger, and this vlogger is into urban explorations. And obviously, that being said, it turns to a horror video game. The game looks exceptionally realistic. <laughs> and it very much reminds me of the Summer of 58, if you guys remember that game, which is essentially the same thing. You play as like some sort of blogger ish type of individual who goes into this abandoned hospital and till this day the summer of 58 is perhaps one of the scariest games that we've played here on the channel and so it just piqued my interest so with that said sit back relax and welcome to abandoned souls it is 2015 tim an urbex blogger per his viewers request sets out to explore an abandoned hospital in the forest in the middle of nowhere web forum Tim frequented was crawling with stories about people who had gone missing in the vicinity of the hospital in 1985. They said it was no ordinary hospital. it is then shall we listen by the way i don't want to hear it. i want no excuses here we are an old abandoned hospital building that operated in the 80s I'm going to enter this building and shoot a video for my viewers and probably die effort for flashlight excellent wasd for movement wow the movement is really good Use, take, and open with left uh, mouse or right mouse button. Wow. Anyways, as I was saying, I don't want any excuses. Pause the video if you have to, but um, put on some headphones, earphones, earbuds, whatever you got, and crank it up. Because I got my volume at 100. Whenever I play horror games, I have it at 100. If not, you just, it's, it's, it's like going to the movie theater for a horror movie and telling the people, hey, can you lower the movie down? And no, <laughs> no, no, but honestly, this is the best way to really just experience the games. All right. So this is the truck we came in. All right. Oh, I like the tag, how it says, uh, unreal. <laughs> That's cool. Cause the game's on unreal engine. So this is uh, the so-called abandoned hospital from the 1980s. Why is it that everything creepy happened in the 80s, 90s, 70s? It's like nothing cool happens anymore. All right, here we are. Let me just make sure there's nothing we can gather. Locked. I need to find something to break these planks. I'm almost positive that light was not there before. And either I'm delusional, I'm crazy, or stupid, but I could have sworn I heard somebody like grunting over there. Right, well, let's go back outside. Follow the path. Bro, this game actually also reminds me of, um, clearly the Summer of 58, but it reminds me of the Blair Witch, uh, video game, which, to me, was another phenomenal game. Is that a dog, or is that a wolf screaming? What the fuck? Alright. 
probably miles away. We're gonna go ahead and disregard that. I don't know, was this game considered a psychological horror game? Because I hear a lot of noises. Yo, what the fuck? Oh my god. Okay. Hello? Alright, we need to find something to break the 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 uh the, the wood on the door. Or whatever that was. Do we have Bro, I'm going fucking nuts. I hear something. Do I have to follow this path? Ugh, God. Just when I thought the hospital back there was creepy. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Hello? There is anybody out there. I will have you know that I've been trained. All right, can we stop with the sound effects? Yoo-hoo. Bro, this is incredibly realistic. Like, the graphics are not hyper-realistic because... You can tell there's like a little, I don't know, it's got, it's got a style to it, but the way it moves, the way the camera moves is, just feels real. Alright, somebody lives here. A couple of shoes. Missing person. Well, that's just fucking fantastic. Somebody's here for sure. Got a little fire going. Why is it that every time I turn on the uh, flashlight, it sounds like this guy's eating an apple? That makes no fucking sense. Let me put my water over here before I spill it. Alright, so I need to find something to break the planks on the wall. Let me just do a quick, thorough search through this area here. Maybe like a crowbar. I'm not gonna be playing scared if I didn't fight it. If I play scared, I don't think we'll ever be able to finish this game. The playtime is anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes. And honestly, at this pace, make it 120 minutes. Oh, come on, stupid flashlight. Please don't. Please don't do that. Great piece of crap. We were just talking about this earlier. Ah! What the fuck? Who the hell was that? Go away. Bro, pick up the damn axe. Are you dumb? A crowbar. Really? Really? You have a hammer? Two hammers. Alarm, I need to get back to the car. Dude, if you were live streaming right now. Your viewers would be so pissed. Probably laughing at you too, by the way. You know, just, just saying, because you, you're really that stupid. Not picking up the axe back there. Who does that? Clearly, this guy went to my car and jacked it up. Clearly. That's fine. Oh, is it working again? I don't even know. Alright. I feel terrible because I was just celebrating how great it was that we didn't need any uh, that we didn't need any like batteries for the flashlight. Literally 20 seconds later, the flashlight breaks. I need to 
I get closer to deactivate the alarm. It's old. I wanted to install a new one uh, before leaving, but I'm a lazy ass. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, this is taking inspiration from Blair Witch. 100%. 100%. Okay. I wonder if there's anything over here. Probably not. We've got the crowbar. Let's go ahead and, uh, what the fuck? What the hell? Is that a bloodied axe sticking out of my, out of my car? Who could have done this? Damn! Do not enter. Looks like a warning. I have to decide if I should go into this building or if it's better to go home. Boy, you stupid. Nope, fuck it. Wait, what? What? Tim got scared for his life and decided to the risk was not worth it. <laughs> no. Well, oh, there are so many sound effects going on. Who the fuck is that? I'm coming. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? trying to tell me something I hope he can get in here that would have been cool like if you decide to like look like be an idiot like me he freaking pops out wow this looks very creepy like I almost want to be inside I think Tim just said something but I was so occupied commentating that I couldn't read yo that is fucking terrifying Whenever you had a wheelchair, ooh, it looks like it's just started raining outside. I got inside just in time. Alright, let's go in here. We've got some medications. Oh, shit. This is like a more realistic uh, version of the summer of 58. Straight up. Tim's flashlight ain't working. Oh, God. Oh, God. searching and I'm just vlogging. If you guys ever wonder what YouTubers would do for a couple of clicks and views, well here you have it. <laughs> right, you know what, I think I'm just gonna go back to the first room, fuck that. <laughs> they are willing to go into an abandoned hospital. What is that, a key? That's a key, bro. Am I going crazy? Alright, I'm gonna keep that in mind. <laughs> I was in the middle of swallowing, asshole! Fucking rats. Scared the hell out of me. Oh, we've got a teddy bear there. How cute. Alright. We've got some sort of sleeping bag here. Yeah, for sure people live here. Or lived. Now, the guy back there, as I mentioned. Ah! What the fuck? What the hell is this, man? Alright, uh, what was I saying? Wait, what does this mean? This thing fell down here. Did I go search something over here? The guy back there that was following me when we entered this room, this hospital, was a guy, like some sort of cop or something, on a missing poster. And based on the text that we got on screen it seems like he was trying to tell us not to come in here 
when she probably could have been the same person in the cabin. <gasps> Someone was peeking around the corner. I didn't see shit, though. Thankfully. All right, come here, punk. Huh? Want to fuck around? You ever seen that meme? Fuck around and find out? Well, they call me Mr. Find Out. So I dare you to fuck around. Was he going to find out? I don't know what I just said. Just, I just came off the top of my dome. You know. <laughs> All right. <gasps> what does it say, bitch? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Anybody here? Nobody, right? Yeah, I just... Ooh. Who are all these people? What's with the equipment that they are hauling away? I've never seen hardware like this. And the body bags, I swear. These look like body bags with... Well, corpses in them. But we are in an ordinary hospital. We don't even have a morgue here. Where did the body bags come from? What's going on? Oh. I have the same question. It's kind of hard to see, like, what I can interact with in one. Ah! Bro, seriously, bro? Like, come on, man. It's like, do it once, all right, but you do it twice, now you're, now you're, now you're really fucking up. But three times? No, oh, that's just great. You gotta love it when a door just opens in front of your face. For the layout of this game! The layout of the Who the hell is that? It looks like he crawled into the ventilation. Mother of Christ. Come on, if you're gonna scare me, do it now, punk. Do it now. If you're gonna scare me, do it now. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Anyways, uh, the layout of this hospital looks like the same layout of a game we played a couple months ago. I don't remember the name of it because I'm terrible with names, but it was kind of like in a hospital as well. And it ended up being that the guy was like in, a, in some sort of virtual reality. saying bro is the phone ringing how is this possible there's no electricity here the building has been abandoned for many years many many years or so we believe <laughs> you know because when there is an when there's an abandoned hospital or an abandoned anything nothing really makes sense so this right here making no sense makes perfect sense i make no sense what am i saying screw this rick they're shutting us down after all I've done for them. What we've done, the project was doing good. We were so close to our goal, but no one of the sponsors decided. But now, but one of the sponsors decided there are too many casualties. After all these years and so many lives sacrificed, they decided to pull the plug. So, uh, so as not to alert the press, the locals suspect us already, and they decided to close the hospital. Can they see? It'll set off more alarm bells. Today, the they'll haul away all of the equipment and all of the subjects, just like that, in broad daylight. Idiots. Disappearances, body bags, equipment. Right, guys, I have a bad feeling about this. I have a feeling that I'm gonna turn around and there's gonna be somebody right there. No? Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> oh, look at that. I was wrong. Yo, thank God I was wrong. Ain't nobody got time to be getting scared again. Bro, we ain't scared. We prepared. I've already told you this. We ain't scared. What's that sound? It looks like someone is crying. I've told you, we are not scared. We've come prepared. Alright? Alright, let's go ahead and calm down. Let's not do all that. Okay. This is for sure a psychological horror game. I didn't read that part of the description, but this is 100% psychological. 
Don't look up. Oh, fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> oh, nah, get out of here. What does that mean? <laughs> Crap! Crap, guys! Hurry! Like and subscribe! Like and subscribe before I die! Crap! Crap, guys! <laughs> Yo, that would be crazy. Alright, somebody just blocked the way over there. I guess that means we've got to go over there. Alright. We're not allowed in there. That's just hilarious. Alright, we're gonna keep going this way. Wait, we came from here. Hold on. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. We came from here. We made a right. Was it a right? Okay, here we go. What the hell is this? Whoa, whoa, calm down, bro. Hey, hey! What does that even mean? Is a teddy bear supposed to be a symbol for something? Bro, I really wish the flashlight was working right now. Oh, that's a fucking crib. Hey there, Mr. Skeleton. What are you doing? Fuck. <laughs> Yo, this is so creepy, dude. I cannot believe this game is that creepy. Of course it's locked. Follow me. Uh, bro, I saw a key in the beginning of the game, if you guys recall. I saw a key. Where did it... What? Where did he get here? And this is a strange pick. That makes no sense. A lot of the times when these games are made from, like, people from different countries, sometimes the subtitles don't make sense. Alright, so this is... I don't know what you're trying to tell me, dude. Okay, the room looks familiar. Okay, two posts or two bulletins and something in the middle table. Right, we're gonna go back over here. Calm down. I'll be right back. Alright, hold on. That kid is probably one of the uh, test subjects. That's probably what it is. All right, so the room's gotta be this way. Uh. Fuck off. Uh. Don't even play with uh. Oh my God. All right, here's the room. Oh shit. All right, what does this mean? Okay, the key, we've got to make a right. We're, okay, we've got, what? We've got the clock, right at the room, to the right of the clock, in between two doors. There's a bathroom, and the key's on the sink. It looks like the hallway I was in. Familiar clock on the wall, there should be a door somewhere near them. Who are all these people? What's with all the equipment that they're hauling away? Okay, yeah, we, uh, we read that already. This is so creepy. Alright, this is the clock right here. Correct? We've we been down here? I'm so freaking lost. I don't even know anymore. Hello? Another missing person. 
Yanks, a lot of the people they were doing tests on. Mike, I cannot believe they're shutting us down. We're about to, uh, what about all the locals? We're, they're going to turn uh, for help. Where are they gonna turn for help now? How will they reach the town? It's miles and miles away. Strange, according to the papers, our sponsors have been very generous and invested much more than necessary into our hospital. Funding gap? Bullshit, Alex. It's really strange, they closed the only hospital for hundreds of kilometers around, why? Alright, so, we're getting more info as to what the hell really happened here. Not, not, not very detailed info, just kind of vague, but still some info. Right, I feel like we've been here. Have we been here? Oh, shit. Yep, we've been here. That's the room where all that stuff fell, right? Yes. But I think we've got to go back. Hold on, we've got to go back. I kind of want to go back this way and go to the other hall where the uh, guys in the forum were writing that people were disappearing in the villages near the hospital. It happened around the 80s. The notice dated 1985. Yep. That's right. Also, that's. down dude like I'm not even fucking around anymore there's a freaking key Grab that shit oh, damn bro what the hell is your problem alright there's clearly uh that's the way that is the right direction ah! all right all right, bro, you do that shit again, we're throwing hands. That's it. And that's the bottom line. Why is it so bright? Shit! Yeah! Yo, this game is tripping me out, bro. Like, what the fuck? What is this place? Oh, don't fucking ask me. I don't know. I'm just here. Just here for the ride. Flashlight still don't work. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, so uh, seems like some sort of storage area here. That seems like blood. <clears throat> My throat hurts. I blink. <gasps> okay. <clears throat> so many people, men, women, children, and for what? Why have we done all of this? It was clear from the start that uh, this was bullshit. Dr. Burkhoff, uh, what did he try to achieve? I think he just loves to hurt people, gets off of torture, or gets off on torture. I'm glad that they're shutting. Uh, down the project, but the blood on our hands, I don't think it'll ever come off. Yeah, that's blood, all right. That's very unfortunate. Thankfully, I'm not really here in real life, and this is nothing but a, a video game. Because, damn, I, I would have died already. But, like, what? Nobody in the world has the balls to be doing this, honestly. If you are a vlogger and you do this for a living, man, you're just different. You're built different. Nobody does this. Not not at this extreme. Are you crazy? Right, there's somebody trying to lick my ass back there. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> uh. Stop, 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 stop. Can I just read this letter in peace? 
All right, so it says the latest experiment was a success and say the same about previous cases, but this time the subject seems stable. Muscle mass increases steadily. However, intellectual uh, capabilities continuously decline. It would appear that the subject experiences total memory loss. They have no recollection of who they are and what happened to them. That's good for us, right? All of the subjects have gone completely bold. Bold or bald? Their voice uh, cords have undergone irreversible changes and they have lost the ability to uh, articulate words. They now emit weird noises akin to laughter or something else entirely. Another peculiar upgrade is the eyesight. The subjects can definitely see in near total darkness and their eyes seem to reflect light, rather haunting really. The subjects are getting more and more aggressive towards personal personnel. Uh, we still manage to keep them under control. So far, so good. Unfortunately, we still cannot determine what causes loss of signal between subject brain implants and our machines, but we are working on it. Let's continue the research. Wow, you guys are fucking assholes, dude. What about the people that had families? Scumbags. There's something over there. Oh, that's an operating table. I think the game wants me to come over here. Oh boy. The previous batch died within a week from inserting uh, the brain implants and injecting the serum. But this, this is something else. The physical attributes are rapidly increasing and their immune system seems to be stable with stand, uh, to withstand exposure to all of the viruses and bacteria we produce or introduce. All of that a mere week after the introduction of the new serum. We are excited to have Dr. Burkhoff join the project. Everything has been going much faster and smoother than uh, now that he's with us. His vast expertise and innovative ideas that led to a breakthrough with serum development. Best one yet. Okay, there's a VHS player there. I think we're probably gonna end up. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh man, that's a dead body. There's a note next to him. Mother of God. Look at his brain. Look at those feet. That is disgusting, man. What? All right, so we've got. Uh, what's where's the one? One is the fuel can. Two is the generator. Which is on the platform. And three is the light. Fuel canister generator light. Someone helping me. Fuel generator. Fuel can generator and light. Oh, those are the eyes right there. Yep, he's helping me. That's probably the fuel can. All right, I'll be right with you. Uh, <laughs> one second, please. Oh, that's the fuel can right there. Oh, we need the power. Okay, fuel can. Awesome. There's a fuel can. Now I need to find a generator. I guess just follow the cables, right? I think that, yep, it's gonna be that. Yep, yep, it's gonna be that way. 100%, there go the cables. So maybe that person with the glowing eyes is really not trying to kill me. That might actually be the little creature that was in the, uh... In the attic. Alright, listen up. <laughs> Please don't do anything stupid. Yep, there's the generator. Build up the fuel. There should be a start button somewhere. Let there be light. What is that sound? It sounds like something huge is falling.
one issue is not fixed still. We cannot read their minds. We cannot give them orders. They keep silent. However, sometimes it feels like they are communicating with each other mentally. They exchange glances, give tiny little nods. They resemble a pack as if they all share a mental link. At this point in time, we cannot confirm we reached the original project goals. We still do not control the subject, so using them for military purposes is out of the question. However, we've definitely reached a breakthrough in a different field. It looks like we've created a new species. Interesting. There's a glass, I can't go over there. So I'm just gonna head back and hope nothing crazy happens. This game is crazy. <sighs> These games are getting too real, bro. The TV worked. I need to see if I can uh, watch the tape. Oh shit, the platform that was here just fell down. So this this tape out of show is info. Twentieth of December, nineteen eighty five. I can't see squat. experiments that took place. He really did experiment on people. It's terrible. I do like how the game's kind of clarifying that for us. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's cute. Turning off the flashlight. Oh, there's a ladder over there. Can we go over there? Okay. Let's go to the other side. <laughs> this has been so fucking wild. What the fuck? Oh, dude. I thought I heard something like my son or daughter knocking back there. And then I turn around this fucking creature. Oh, we're going down. Nothing ever happens. Nothing good ever happens down below. Damn, my boy. I'm sorry. Fuck. Your feet stink. They're nasty, too. All right, well. Catch you later. Ooh. Uh, they're closing the project. Uh, one of the recent subjects escaped. The one from the latest test batch. Tore several lab assistants uh, and a couple of security guards to pieces and vanished into the vents. We tried to stop it by initiating a lockdown, but it looks like I managed to escape before the vent divides. Uh, the vent dividers fully closed. Oh, God. 
What have we done? We're supposed to create a remote control super soldier and we created an apex predator with human intelligence, ferocious strength, and unparalleled agility and night vision. I hope they capture the subject soon or else... <sighs> I don't want to think about it. Hey, you guys are idiots. Yo, this horror game, bro. This is a, this is a good one, dude. Like, this is a legit good one. Dude. This is fucking awesome. Finally! A good horror game! I'm not here to experiment. I'm here to find out what happened to you guys and possibly maybe find a solution. Maybe even give you some shelter, some vitamins, some food. Oh, there's a walkie talkie there. Is that a camera? Oh, shit. else is here prior. Wow. <laughs> Look at all of them. Oh my god. recognize the location from the video I've been there that plush teddy bear on the table all right fine I've had enough I need to get out of here Wow look at all the cameras holy smokes dude. those are his eyeballs damn they did him dirty bro Dr. Ba uh, Borkov uh, ordered that everyone should leave the lab today. Told us to leave everything behind. Said the experiment had failed and we would never be able to control them. All project documentations will be destroyed. The subjects shall be put under and transported to a separate location. They are closing us down. The hospital on top of the lab as well. This is it. Uh, months of work gone. It's a waste. I don't know what's going on or what's going to happen next. I guess they'll burn the place down or extend the lockdown indefinitely. The way our uh, vital mission will be forgotten. Ah, screw that. I just want to get out of here. We all do, as soon as possible. Sometimes, when you listen closely, despite all the movements and shouting and noises, you can hear something knocking in the vents. Oh, these horrible noises give me the chills. Let's see, I thought I was going crazy. I'm glad I'm not the only one. All right, here we go. We are officially at the very end of this adventure, my friends. And I want to know what happens. This guy's probably going to die. Nah, sounds like the generator just shut off. I mean, th think about it. There was multiple cameras back there. And we saw that they came after people recording and killed them. Took out their eyeballs. It doesn't matter. We're no different. Nobody's trying to help us. They're just setting us up. There they are. They're coming. Ah! Ah! Fuck, where's the ladder? Get up there, bro. See you later, losers! gone or well, it's not gone but it moved clearly and this game actually tricked me I... 
I thought for a second they were really helping us, but... not over yet <laughs> now they're attacking us oh my god they were chasing me i need to get out of here as soon as possible damn don't tell me i'm gonna have to run from these fuckers just run for the exit just for the exit bro this guy doesn't even know how to sprint you call this running are you kidding me it was a big mistake to come here also i'm sorry i don't know where the exit is okay Stop. Stop fucking around. Don't freaking stop. This is not the exit! Bro, can you run any faster? Was it right? Was it left? It was right. the exit. decided to investigate the place. The dispatcher team who turned the place upside down. Plenty of documents weren't, uh, machinery and clothes belonging to the people who had gone missing throughout the years were uncovered. Nothing, no one, okay, I can't read that fast, I'm sorry. Many relatives and families and friends of those who had gone missing those documents were discovered. Reached out to Tim, thanking for him, him for it, uh, unintentionally shedding light into their love. Okay. Whatever, bro. Wow, he escaped, okay? They went and searched for the place, turned everything upside down, found nothing. A special thanks to Amica Games. I think Amica Games was responsible for the summer of 58. Man, there's a lot of resemblance between the, the, this game and that game and also like uh, just a couple of other indie games that I've played, also including the Blair Witch. Man, that was awesome. Whew. That was really good. This is, uh, this is up there one of the best uh, indie horror games we played in recent memory there's been definitely a, a good amount but recently definitely up there this was really 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 good this was pretty crazy man like a job well done indeed i hope you guys enjoyed it uh i also i don't know if you noticed but i i, I did the face cam a little bit closer i feel like the face cam has been a little too far away recently maybe the closer up you feel more immersed i don't know um Okay, that's it for me. I'm sorry. I got nothing else. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you enjoyed it, consider dropping me a like. Helps me out. And uh, low-key, it keeps me motivated. All right? So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later.